Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon and today we're going to take a look at this vacuum and I'll tell you a good news story and a bad news story about this. So as soon as we spin that intro, I'll come back and give you the details. Okay, we are back and a couple of years ago, it's about actually it's not even a couple of years now, it's probably a year and a half, I needed to replace my vacuum and so I went to Home Depot and I was looking at some of the vacs that they had there and I saw this and I was a little nervous about buying a product called Rigid. I knew nothing about the brand and I just I just didn't know if the quality was there. Um, I have a large dust collection system over here in my workshop. It's a four inch hose but I needed a shop vac, something else that I could use in and around the workbench. And you've probably got the same situation. And so I needed to tuck it out of the way into the corner here and, and you know, have it available when I need it. So I decided I would go for it and I bought this one. The choice was the stainless steel here, which frankly I really do like, or a plastic. I just felt the stainless was better. Now this is a wet dry vac, which means it will take up liquid if it should spill on you. And if that happens and you take it up, you've got a drain port here where it can drain out. And I guess that's a handy, handy item to have, especially if you've got the liquid, otherwise you, you've got an issue going on. The motor is housed up top here, the vacuum plugs into here, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But also, if you look inside, this will take up to nine gallons of stuff inside here. There's a filter. Now this one's a little dirty, but it's the best I can do. And inside is a bag which wraps around the outside of the tin, or the inside of the tin in this case. So it runs around the tin, and while it it sits there and, and just collapses when it's not being used and inflates when it is being used. And it inflates because this sucker, <laughs> it has a six horsepower motor in this thing. So it like this sucks up the paint off your floor and, and it's really excellent. But it's also loud. This is a muffler. This is an accessory. I bought this and I put this on the back of here. Get it nice and tight there so that it will just deaden the noise of the vacuum a bit. Now it comes with the, the usual accessories, you know, the little sweeper off the floor and, and a black hose and whatnot. I wasn't a, a big fan of the, of the hose so I went out and I bought this hose along with this, the hose, I think the hose was about $90, $89. Now, I don't want to spend $90 on a hose. I got to tell you right now, that's just insane. But I thought if I did it once and I never had to do it again, then maybe it would be worthwhile. This hose has been excellent, just excellent. So I'm really impressed with this and with this. Now, the product has been working perfectly for me. It comes with, uh, because I wheel it all around my office, my office, my workshop is my office. So I wheel it around here. It's got a cord that just keeps going on and on and on. Look at this. This is huge. It's about 15 feet long. And you just don't get cords that are that long. So if you're in a, a particular area and you need to drag this thing around, which I do, in order to clean the band saw and clean the table saw, then it works absolutely perfectly. Now the hose, I'm just going to drop that off there, will plug into the front here and it's got a little attachment on here that just goes in there like that and clips on there and that's perfect. So I'll use this when I'm using the sanders, I'll pull them out, I'll put the hose and some adapters on the back, turn this on and this is very powerful. Now the bags that are in here, Home Depot charge a fortune for these. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. You get two bags like this, 
and they're $34, $34.95, something of that nature, $35. Or you can take the, the number down here. This happens to be, a, I think it's a VF uh, 2006 or 4. Yeah, 4. And you can buy five of them online for $20. So you can buy two for $35, or you can buy five for $20. Let's see. Let's do the math on that. Yeah, that's quite a bit of a savings. Okay. So I told you there was a good news story and a bad news story. I've used this product so much that after a while, very soon, it became evident to me that this switch was not working well. And so I would push the switch down, but it wouldn't go all the way down. It, it did initially, it just clicked and went on and everything worked fine, and then it didn't. And so I thought, well, that's strange. I'll just, I'll just touch it, maybe it'll go on and it'll work, and it did. And it started to work pretty good. So I tried pushing it on recently, and it wouldn't go on and stay on, and then I just, tweaked it a little bit and I got the thing to work and it was doing quite well. Now you know I'm bent and determined to burn my house down. So when I saw the smoke coming out of the switch I decided it's probably time to turn it off. So I did and I unplugged it. Now comes the good news story. I didn't know this. This comes, here it is, with a lifetime warranty. Didn't know that. So. I phoned Home Depot and I told them that I bought this back, I had it for about a year, year and a half, and I need a new switch for it. Well, I'll give you the, how, you've had it that long? I said, yeah, I've had it for the eight, about 18 months. They said, we only cover 90 days. And I thought, of course, you would only cover 90 days. So sell me a switch, I don't care. So they said, well, we don't service it here we'll give you the phone number for Emerson, who was the company that made this product. So I've known of Emerson for years because I dealt with them when I was working in the oil industry and they were pretty reliable back then. So I called them and lo and behold, Home Depot gave me the wrong phone number. So the people at Emerson gave me the correct phone number to connect to the people that made the vac. So I called them and I, a man answered the phone, it was just, hello, and I told him what had happened and I said, you know, we got a little bit of smoke oozing out of this sucker and, and whatnot, okay, just a minute. And he took the model number and came back and he said, give me your name, give me your address, everything else, we have a part in in stock, I'll put it in an envelope, we'll have it out of here to you today, and I got it two days later. No charge, just the part. How good is that? I mean, no hassle, no, no, no produce a bill, no, no walk over a bridge backwards, uh, don't go across Niagara Falls on a, on a wire. Like, I didn't have to do any of that, it was just, I'll send it to you. I'm not used to that because we fight for everything. So here it was. They just, here, we'll ship it right out to you, and it arrived. So this is a real complicated affair. The switch is right up in here. I just took a screwdriver, propped this up because it's got little wee wings sticking out the side of it like this, pulled that up. There's two spades here, and I just pulled them off one at a time, put the new switch on, and, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it works perfectly. It, it, is, it is just so good. So number one, I would say this, the lifetime warranty, absolutely. I, I'm thrilled with that. The stainless steel, I like it. Because even if you use the liquid in there, you're not going to damage the interior of this. The bags are affordable. The thing works like a charm. It goes anywhere. It's small enough that it's portable. It takes up to nine gallons. And, you know, like, how much do you need? This is terrific. So, kudos to Rigid. You've done a great job. And your customer service, I hope you're watching this. Customer service, I, 
I made a mistake. I did not get the name of the fellow on the phone, and I really, really am disappointed I didn't do that because I would like to write to the president and let them know that they got a winner down there in customer service because there's my billing, zero. There's all the part number, everything else that I need for it, and just came out lickety split. So why the vacuum? I told you about being a fanatic, wanting to keep everything clean. And you may not need a vacuum, but you may need another tool. And I got to tell you, I think I'd recommend Rigid for virtually most of my tools. They're really good. And no, they don't sponsor me. Nobody sponsors me. I need a tea sponsor if you know of anybody. At any rate, Rigid, if they have this lifetime warranty with all of their products, that's that. That's a big change for me. I'd have to look at that and say, even at my age, I'm interested in a lifetime warranty because I'm going to fool you all. I'm going to be around here for a while. So, folks, that's it. I'm done. And if you like to have a, a good product and you want some other tools, go check them out and be sure to ask about the lifetime warranty and where to get them serviced and get the phone numbers and everything else that you would need from them when you buy it because they'll make all of that available to you so that's that's it for a quick product review um, yeah you, you put the utensils up in here and all the stuff I mean what what more can I say about a vacuum I mean seriously a vacuum's a vacuum right I mean if you get really good at this guys listen if you got a nice workshop and you get really good at this I'll bet you dollars to donuts your wife is going to let you vacuum the house. That's it for me. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.